Congratulations, you just got your decent espresso machine, and in this video we're gonna make our first shot. Now, one thing that's quite different about this machine is it will actually show you the pressure on the coffee puck, which will be hugely helpful for figuring out the dose that you want of coffee beans and if your grind is where you want it to be. So, here we've got a coffee grinder, and we've started up the espresso machine, and this is what the D1 Plus interface looks like. So what we'll want to do is go into settings and then choose the standard profile for milky drinks. Now, here it is, the flow profile for milky drinks. And you can see what it looks like. So it's a pre-infusion followed by a, just a hold pattern. Now, the reason that we're using this to see if our grind is good is that we're gonna put water in at a constant rate and then we're gonna read the pressure. And if the pressure is between six and 12 bar, then we're in the range of espresso and we're pretty much there. If you get less than six bar, you need to either fine your grind more or put more coffee in. If you're over 12 bar, then you need to coarsen your grind or put less coffee in. But generally I'd say if you're below six bar or above 12 bar, you probably should change your grind. Now, good to have the porter filter already locked in so it's nice and warm. And you can see this is a little wet, so keep a towel around and just dry it out. You absolutely have to have a gram accurate scale in order to make espresso. Sorry, you can buy ours or somebody else's, but at least gram accurate and really better is 10th of gram because 0.3 grams is about the edge of um, accuracy where the coffee really starts to change. So here we're gonna use our grinder and I'm gonna use a funnel. You can do this however you like. And you can see I've got a scale. From previous times, I figured out that 15 grams is about right on this. And you'll see it's a bit too fun, but it's tasting okay, so I'm all right with it. Okay, so we got 14.9 grams. All right, I'm just gonna knock it on the sides a little bit, like so. And what I'm trying to do is, without messing with the grounds too much, I just wanna get them even. And that basic evenness of distribution of coffee grounds is super important. If you get this wrong, your coffee is just not gonna taste very good because the water is gonna shoot through the lower, the thinner parts. So next I'm gonna tamp it, okay? Now the way I tamp, it's up to you, but I first put the tamper in, and then with my fingers I just make sure it's level, like so, and then I push in. And so now I've got a nice level tamp. And that's what my coffee puck looks like. So generally you want to brush right here so you don't have any coffee grounds here because if you jam the coffee grounds into the gasket, your gasket, the rubber gasket here, will have a much shorter life. So then I slide this in like this, I can feel it locking, and then using two handles, just gently push it together. You don't have to muscle it, it's a, a brand new machine, the rubber gasket will do its job. Get ourselves a hot cup. And now we're ready to go, so I'm gonna hit start. Because this is the first coffee of the day, it's doing some temperature adjustments, final heating, takes about 15 seconds through the first shot, and you hear a clunk, which we just heard, when the water just started. So now we've got pre-infusion, and on these charts, the top one is pressure, then flow, then temperature. And you can see that the pressure is quite high. We went, um, 12 bar and then we're coming down temperature at the coffee puck and then this is, blue line is the flow rate and the brown line is the flow rate into the cup now unless you actually bought our scale uh, which we currently sell you won't have the brown line but it doesn't matter my recipe here that I'm doing is two to one roughly 15 grams of coffee 32 grams out is what I'm aiming for um, you'll want to hit the stop button probably around 27, 28 grams if you want to hit 32 grams because it takes a little bit of time for the water to stop draining. In this setup, we've got our own scale, so the scale is stopping the espresso machine automatically, but with your own scale, you're the stop button, you hit stop. So let's take a look at this espresso. You can see it's got a nice body, it's quite thick. Uh, this is an espresso that we're making um, lattes out of, and that's just a, a traditional latte or cappuccino that I just made myself and I'm drinking. Um, I didn't make any latte art, sorry, but it doesn't change the flavor. 
Okay, the next thing you wanna do is knock out the puck. Okay, there it is. You'll need a knock box. And if it's not that sloppy, you can just use a towel like so and just clean it out. Last thing you do always is lock the porter filter back in so it stays warm. At this point, if you're done with the espresso machine, you would hit the power button here and you'll see the tablet goes into a screensaver and now it's cooling and you're done. So I hope you enjoyed your morning coffee. If you'd like a video to show you how to steam milk, there's another one here on, uh, on YouTube. Otherwise, drink your espresso and enjoy.